and welcome to Evernote. Evernote is a tool that you can use to take notes, record voice memos, capture information, images, and web content on the web, as well as as a software download for your computer or a browser plugin, and as an application on mobile devices like an iPhone or a Blackberry. I've been using Evernote for quite a while to manage my to-do lists, capture information on the web for personal and professional use, to take notes at meetings, and to hang on to all those little bits and pieces of information that used to get scribbled on the backs of envelopes or post-its. Basically, I was using it by myself for myself. But recently, Evernote added some great social features for sharing notes, which now I think makes it a great time for educators to try it out in their classrooms. So to get started using Evernote, you're going to want to create an account, and you just click on this link right here. The account creation process is really simple. Uh, I've already created an account, so you can see it's populated with my info, but all you need to do is add your name, your email address, create a username, and a password. Once you accept the terms of service and type in the CAPTCHA words, uh, Evernote is going to send you an email with a confirmation code that you'll need to type in before you log in for the first time. Uh, it really couldn't be an easier process. You don't have to give up a lot of personal information, so uh, no need to worry about that. So once you've created an account, you might also want to think about downloading Evernote software. As I mentioned, uh, you can work in Evernote either on your computer using Evernote software or their browser plugins. You can work on the web from any computer with internet access, or you can use Evernote on a mobile device. Uh, they do have apps for um, a number of different smartphones. For the meantime, we're just going to log in on the web. And you can see I already have uh, 42 notes in my notebook. Um, as I mentioned, I tend to use Evernote for taking notes in meetings, uh, to-do lists, and to hang on to um, random pieces of information that I don't quite know what to do with. Um, to create a new note, you just click on the New button, give it a title. You can add your own tags. And then just start typing your note. Evernote includes some of the basic text editing features that you find in other online HTML editors, so you can change the color, bold, italicize, the alignment, add strike throughs, and add links as well. You can save your note, and you can see that your sample note appears right here in your notebook. In addition to titling and tagging your notes, another way that you can organize them is to create different notebooks. So you can see right now I have only one, but I can add a new one. So we'll call it Sample Notebook just for the purposes of this video. Now that I've created my new notebook, I can move notes from one notebook to another, or once I'm in a new notebook, I can create new notes right there. Another option that you have when you create a new note is to upload a file. So you can choose uh, an audio file, an image, or a PDF by browsing your hard drive and attaching it. And of course, add a title, tags if you like, and you can annotate your photo as well. Now my new note went into my main notebook, but I'm going to drag it into my sample notebook. Now, as I mentioned, one of the reasons why I think now is a great time to start using Evernote in your classrooms is because they've added some new features for sharing notes. And you share your notes uh, by notebook, so it's a good reason to create a number of different notebooks, and that way you can adjust the sharing accordingly. Uh, one way to do it is just simply to email a note. Uh, so you would select the note and then click on email. 
type in an email address, uh, a message to uh, go along in the body of the email text, and click OK. Another option that you have is to use the sharing toolbar over here on the side. Select sharing setup. Choose the notebook that you want to share. We'll use the sample. And then you have two options. You can either publish your notebook to the web and share it with anybody publicly, or you can share with specific individuals. So to share your notebook on the web, you would start click on Start Sharing with the World. You can see it generates a public URL. You can add a description. You can choose how your notes are going to be sorted, either date created or date updated. And I can imagine that this would be really useful for teachers who are sharing class notes with their students. And then hit save. You've got your public URL right here. And here you can see the public view of my notes. Now these are read only, so people that are looking at uh, your publicly shared notebook aren't able to edit them, uh, but they are able to view them. Going back to our other option, which is to invite individuals to look at your notebook, again, you've got the option to email. You do also have the additional security option of requiring people that view your notes to be logged into Evernote. You can change your sharing options at any time, and so for right now, I'm going to stop sharing with the world. For working at school, you're probably going to want to stick to using Evernote on the web. But for working at home, you can download Evernote software. They have software downloads for Mac and Windows operating systems as well as browser plugins that you can install on your computer. They also have Evernote apps for various mobile devices including uh, different smartphones and the iPad. I have Evernote installed on my computer. Each time you open it, it asks you to log in. And after you've logged in, the Evernote application on your computer syncs automatically with whatever you've done on the web or on your mobile device. You can also force it to sync, and you can see that my notebooks are here. The layout is a little bit different um, with the Evernote software than it is with the web-based version, um, but still you have access to all of your information. Now when you want to share notes from the Evernote software on your computer, you don't have the same uh, options to publish to the web and so forth, but you can email your notes using the email feature. And if your computer has an integrated webcam, you can also take a video note uh, using the Evernote software on your Evernote for iPhone allows you to create text, photo, and voice notes. You can also access all the notes that you created previously through the app. The presence of new social features and the ability to work on the web, your computer, or on a mobile device makes this a great time to try Evernote with your students. As a teacher, you can share class notes, PDF documents, audio files, images, and web links with your students through one clean, simple interface. For example, if you created a notebook for your government class, you could easily share lecture notes, PDFs of primary source documents, news, and web links via email or by publishing to the web just by saving content in Evernote. Evernote also offers the option to email information directly into your notebooks, upload your tweets to Evernote straight through Twitter, and to create an RSS feed for your notebooks. For students, Evernote is an awesome tool for research and inquiry projects. It gives you the ability to clip and save resources from anywhere on the web, take notes, and share information with collaborators or teachers. Evernote's tagging, indexing, and search features help keep your work organized and enable you to work from anywhere. No more lost note cards and no more time lost when you don't have materials with you.